It's been a hard fought battle against HIV AIDS in San Francisco. Many at the annual SF AIDS Foundation Gala say more still needs to be done. It seems like getting to zero infections with HIV is within reach, but San Francisco, there is so much more to do, even though it's 30 years later. The mission is still as important as it was 30 years ago. MC'd by ABC7 Morning News anchor Reggie Aki, the gala marked a milestone. And throughout the night, many reflected on U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein's role in the fight against AIDS early on. We were the epicenter of the epidemic, and we were really struggling to figure out who our champions would be. There would be many, but among them, some say, was then San Francisco Mayor Dianne Feinstein. In many different elected offices over time, Senator Feinstein worked to ensure that we had the local funding that we needed or the federal funds necessary. That funding was crucial in keeping people alive says Paul Aguilar. There are 16,000 people living with HIV in San Francisco. 74% of them are over the age of 50. I'm one of those people. Diagnosed in 1988, Aguilar says the funding Feinstein fought for allowed for the best medical care in the nation, and that transformed how people live with the disease. It was about saving lives. That was her focus. Um, and, you know, we're grateful for all that she brought to San Francisco. That doesn't mean Feinstein didn't have her critics. The Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, who were honored at the gala for their work, say they didn't always agree with Feinstein's policies. Well, we didn't quite get along, uh, Senator Feinstein. And us. We uh, came to uh, a mutual agreement that we were here to serve the community um, in our own ways. The person who will replace Feinstein in the U.S. Senate will be appointed by Governor Gavin Newsom. I'm sure the governor will make a very, very strong choice. He, he uh, is, I know, being very thoughtful about it, and uh, I'm sure he'll make a good decision. In San Francisco, on San Hassan, ABC 7 News.